On South Jersey fields like this, Jeff Singer's road to realize his baseball dream began. Blue collar kid, born in the city of Philadelphia, parents grew up as Phillies fans, and someday he may walk out on Citizen Bank's pitcher's mound and fulfill the fantasy. Six years ago, Jeff did pitch at Citizens Bank Park. After a standout career at Holy Cross in Del Ran, Jeff pitched at CBP in the Carpenter Cup All-Star Classic. That led to a national junior college title, then to Monmouth, then to Rutgers Camden, where it appeared things were over. I got done at Rutgers and, you know, just waiting in my living room for the draft and uh, watching every name go by and uh, just waiting to hear my name called. That call never came, so Jeff went to work with his father, who manages a Northeast Philly car dealership. We use him as a lot, man. He would drive for us, clean cars, and uh, anything that we needed. A year and a half ago, I was at the car dealership, just worrying about what my future was going to be. Jeff refused to hang him up. He kept his dream alive, playing here in the Rancocas Valley League. Normally, the league isn't a pro talent hotbed, but Singer caught the eye of Philly scout Roland George. I knew that there was enough there to open a door. That door opened in Camden with the River Sharks. Zero head movement. Ryan Kulik is now the pitching coach at Rowan, but two years ago, he pitched for Camden until an injury opened a roster spot for Jeff. Once a hot prospect with the Cardinals, Ryan shared his knowledge and took Jeff under his wing. Being a South Jersey guy, I wanted to see him succeed. You know, I was an older guy and kind of knew my career was towards the end. So I wanted to pass, pass everything I learned along to him. That knowledge helped increase Jeff's velocity, and it opened the door for a major league tryout, a chance against 60 other players. And Jeff Singer made the most of his shot. I hit 95, which was, I, I never hit 95 before. Jeff went up there through 95. The Yankees were getting ready to sign him. And I said, if we don't act and sign him now, he's gonna sign with the New York Yankees. He looked at me, I looked at him, and it was like, I think I'm going to be with the Phillies, so that was that was awesome. His hometown team made it official, signing Singer to a contract and giving him and his family a day they'll never forget. It was incredible, you know, I couldn't imagine it to be any better than how that day was. Jeff pitched last season with the Phillies minor league teams in Lakewood and Clearwater so well, in fact, that he was invited to the prestigious Arizona Fall League. Nobody had ever heard of this kid. Nobody had ever seen this kid, and they all want to know who, who's this left-handed guy throwing 97 miles an hour that wasn't drafted. Well, the Phillies go back to the bullpen now. Singer, the left-hander, coming out of their pen. All of which brings us to now. Jeff spent most of this spring with the Phillies minor leaguers, but did pitch in big league games, too. Singer drops one in for a strike, and the count is 0-2. The hometown kid's dream is still very much alive, from selling cars just two years ago to potentially pitching at Citizens Bank Park. I'm just really lucky for what's going on right now. I have a great family and friends behind me, what's going on, and you know, it's Philadelphia, it's a great city, and I love it. Sydney Long, NBC 10.